going to be checking out handcrafted honeybee and their unique items. Yeah, so this is for girls specifically, uh, ages five and up. And you can see they have some different ones. We we're just showcasing a few of these, but you can do the bath bombs or you can do the um, lip gloss. They also do like a chapstick. And what happens is you get this. And then it gives you directions. Now, there's a video that's on their website, too, which I really encourage parents. Obviously, you're going to be helping along. And some of the things that are in this glycerin and this castor oil, on it, it tells you what the products are. And once you go through and mix it, it actually talks to you about the science of how they mix together. Because you know something like um, oil and water doesn't always mix as well. But these will mix very well. And so it gives you directions. So I figured. Let's go ahead and try and do this ourselves. Now, also, you have different flavors watermelon, blue raspberry, and then you also get different colors. So you could do the purple or the pink. This is like a little powdery um, substance. And the idea is it's trying to encourage girls with STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And so they're basically engineering their own science project, really, by being able to make this lip gloss. Okay, so first, we're going to fill one of these mixing cups halfway up with the castor oil. Okay. Let's see. Halfway up. Does this look halfway? Okay, I think that's good. The castor oil. And then you're going to fill a second cup halfway up with the glycerin. Okay. Our own little science project here. Here it is. Right. Dom, are you excited? You could use this lip gloss. Okay, and then scoop out one to two micro scoops of your chosen color. Should we do the purple or the pink? Purple? Okay. Obviously, for the Sacramento Kings. I don't even know why I even had to ask. Oh no. I'm worried this is going to go everywhere. <laughs> Notice how Julian backed up. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, no, it's not the other way. Okay, there we go. I got it. Okay, so we'll do. Two scoops. Where are we putting it? Add it to the cup of castor oil and stir well with a pipeline. Okay, so here we go. Oh, and of course I made a huge mess. Shocking. Shocking. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Okay, and then we're supposed to stir it. I guess with this. Add it to the cup of castor oil and stir well with a pipette. Oh, this is the pipette. Listen, if I could do this, your five-year-old could do it. Okay. Okay, so you stir it in so we get the coloring through there. Now, using a second pipette, add between three to seven drops of flavoring oil to each measuring cup and stir it in well. So, this is the flavor. What flavor do we want to do? Blue raspberry or watermelon? Uh, I think watermelon. Watermelon? Okay. Yeah. So, we take this. I like your sense of concentration. Your shoulders are. Stuff. Have between three to seven drops of flavoring oil to each measuring cup. Uh -huh. do okay. Look out, okay. Julian. It's going to blow. Stir. <laughs> Stir. 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 And using a third pipette, fill the glass lip gloss cleaner one half to two thirds full with the glycerin. Now that is going to be this. This is what you will store your lip gloss in. Oh, I see. Oh, oh my gosh. It smells so good, by the way. Does it? Good. Yes. Okay, this is to be continued. Okay. I'm gonna finish this. And um, info on your screen. Can you read what the website says there so people could buy this, Cody? Uh, handcraftedhoneybee.com. Okay, yes. Please get this, and I wanna know how it goes. Okay, let me see. Using a third pipette, fill the glass lip gloss container a half to two thirds full with glycerin. <laughs> Craig Macy says, "Is can be making TNT. We're not sure, but it will be flavored deliciously. Yeah. All well. right, stick around. We'll have more on the big show coming up.